Are your people on Instagram, but you're not sure if you're actually reaching them? You might be in need of a makeover, an Instagram profile makeover. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly what I teach my students inside of my program, Instagrowth Boss, on how they can make over their profile in just a few minutes so that they're attracting the perfect follower to their profile who can become a lead and a sale in their business. I get it. The Instagram profile is a small space. There's only so many characters that you can use in your name field, your bio. So you gotta be efficient. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through one of my clients. I'm going to show you what her profile looked like before and then what changes we made for her after. And I don't think you'll be too surprised to hear that her followers have since doubled since she made this makeover happen. So let's dive in to her profile right away. But first, are you subscribed to this channel? If you're interested in this topic and marketing and growing your business online, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you never miss one of my future trainings. And make sure you stay until the end of this video. I'm gonna be sharing some very handy templates that you can use to write your bio really fast. So let's get started. I wanna show you my client Oriana's profile on Instagram. She's at idesign underscore space. And this is what her profile looked like before we gave it a makeover. Her username, idesign underscore space. Her name field, idesign inc. And this is what her bio said. Design, space, inspiration, lifestyle, full service design build firm, projects and inspirations that evoke emotion, let us ID your space. So Oriana came to me and my agency and she wanted to grow her followers, but because she's an interior designer, she didn't need followers from all around the world. She needed local followers. She needed leads and she wanted to connect with realtors. She wanted to connect with architects. She had a lot of goals. So we worked together to give her whole profile a makeover and this is what we did. So the first thing we looked at was her username. Her username stayed the same. It's still idesign underscore space. That's because her username was already established to her overall brand name. That's what you want your username to be. You want it to be your brand, whether it's your personal name or your business's actual name. If your username is already taken on Instagram, you can get a little creative Maybe add a short word to the beginning or the end of your username, like my or the, or use a period or an underscore to break up some of the words. What I don't recommend is adding a bunch of numbers and symbols to make your username complicated and long. Think about this. The next time you're at a cocktail party and someone says, oh, you're on Instagram? I wanna follow you. What's your username? Make it easy for you to say for them to hear it, remember it, and type it into their phone so that they can follow you. So Oriana's username stayed the same because it was already her established brand name. The next thing I looked at was her profile image. Because she's selling her services as a designer, we kept the image the same. Here's what I typically recommend. Make sure your profile image is a nice smiling headshot of yourself, especially if you're a personal brand, crop it so that it's shoulders up. And if you can, try to take that image in front of a colored background. Ideally, the color behind you is your brand's main color. What this will do is when your followers are scrolling their feed and they see your bright profile picture, they're more likely to stop the scroll. That's the whole objective. And because the profile picture is so small in the newsfeed, you want to do everything you can to stop that scroll. So I recommend a nice cropped headshot with a bright colored background that is your brand color. In the case of Oriana, her brand colors are black and white, so she kept hers the same because it has that black vibe to it. The next part of her profile that we looked at was the name field. The name field is my favorite secret ninja field because a lot of people don't know that the words you put in your name field are searchable. So once your username is your brand name, great, you're gonna be found by your brand name in search. 
But your name field should be the target keywords that your typical follower would be looking for. So in the before version of Oriana's profile, she just repeated her business name, I Design Inc. That's very common. A lot of times when you're filling out that profile, it just says name and so you're going to put your name again. But I highly recommend to choose the target search words that your follower might be typing into Instagram. So it could be your industry, your niche, the person that you help like entrepreneurs or realtors. You really have to get creative. Don't get too, too specific here. Choose words that are pretty broad, but most importantly, they need to be what your target follower is searching for. So with Oriana's profile, we chose the keywords Toronto design plus space ideas. Those are four keywords that she can now show up for when someone is searching for them. The next thing I look at with a profile makeover is the bio. Now I have done a full video on how to write an Instagram bio, which you can check out here, but let's quickly review Oriana's new bio. The first line is all about who she helps and how. I help clients, builders, and realtors create modern spaces. Boom. The second line is what makes her unique or different? So in this line, she's going for that authority builder. She says, Oriana, a designer with 10 plus years experience. This lets her followers know she's not new in the industry. She has been there, done that, and you can trust her. The last line is a specific call to action so that she can generate leads. She wrote, DM me for a free design call. So because she doesn't have a website that she's leading people to yet, what she's using is Instagram's DMs on generating leads nurturing those leads, AKA getting to know people and talk to them like real people, and then booking them in for a call or a consultation. Depends on your business model. For her case, she needs to lead them to a call and then a paid consultation. I have done a whole video on how to get quality DMs and how to sell in the DMs. So check that out right over here. So after the username, the name, the profile picture, and the bio, the next thing I look at is the actual feed. So for Oriana's feed in her before version, she was posting a lot of interior design images. Some were client work and some were aspirational or inspirational. Those were doing relatively well in her feed, but what we looked at was what was missing. And what we're missing were client testimonials and quote cards that really told her follower her design style and what she was all about. So we built that in to her feed and now she's got a good mix of client images, inspirational images, and quote cards that are either inspiring or client reviews. Since Oriana has given her profile a makeover, her followers have gone from 767 to over 1400. And now she even has highlights built out on her profile as a added bonus. If you're interested in using highlights to grow your business like Oriana is, be sure to hit the subscribe button because I am coming out with a video all about highlights for business very soon. One month after Oriana gave her Instagram profile a makeover, guess what? She had a paid consult booked into her business directly from Instagram. So the proof is in the pudding. Now, if you're raring to give your profile a total makeover, amazing. I have two bio templates that you can use to make the bio writing process a whole lot easier. Here they are. Bio template number one, the first line, helping target market turn problem into core benefit. Second line, X client served plus X total results added up. Third line, free high value resource for your target customer. So try that one on for size. If it doesn't quite fit your industry or your business model, here's a second one. First line, coach for target market looking to core benefit. Second line, featured in XYZ plus X years of experience. Third line, DM me ABC for a surprise. If you like this video and you wanna learn more about using Instagram to actually grow your business, 
I have a free Instagram masterclass. The link is right below this video. I cover what's working today on Instagram to get leads and sales back to your business. Now, if you want to hire me as your coach so that you can actually turn Instagram into a new revenue stream in your business, head to right below this video. There's a link for my Instagram funnel bootcamp. That's the best way to work with me in a pretty intimate setting so that we can turn your Instagram profile into a brand new revenue stream in your business. To ease and revenue, I'll see you in the next video. Are your people on Instagram? What did I say? I think I know. So with Oriana's username, we kept it a si <laughs> So Oriana's, what I don't recommend is adding a bunch of numbers and syllables, symbols. <laughs>